captured Tom Hanks for yet another act to talk oh, together. Man, Thank you for sticking around. There is nothing on TV tonight. That's all there is. It's as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing on TV. All right. Now, I wanted to ask you about uh, your friend Jonathan Demme, oh, who dear, uh, I know is a dear friend of yours, and uh, you did Philadelphia together, we, and we he produced a, uh, uh, that he, thing you do. And he was in that thing you do. He played a yeah. cameo as the movie director. Here's the, here's the great thing about it. God bless him. I love him. And it's, it's been a tough week, quite frankly, um, because my, my whole production company came about because of, because of Jonathan. Here's the thing about working with Jonathan. Jonathan, all of his movies were like you were hanging out with the most well-liked and hipped adjunct professor at your state college <laughs> because he drank wine during uh, office hours. He says, come on in, come on in. We're just, we're just talking about Kierkegaard. Sit down. <laughs> That's what it was like. We were, we would, we, he had this policy that no other movie directors have, which is anybody can come to dailies. Usually directors see dailies in a locked bunker, you know, in the former swimming pool of the White House. That's, <laughs> and you got to, you know, put thumbprints on in order to get down. That's usually, but Jonathan, he said, come on. He'd put on pizza, he'd put on music, he'd show whatever the dailies was. I was at dailies once, and I was sitting next to the guy who was wearing a, kind of like a, a matching, it was an odd outfit. He's wearing a matching purple suit. And I'd never seen the guy before. Purple but, jacket, purple well, pants. Well, purple jacket, purple yeah, pants. Yeah. And uh, he's just sitting there, kind of like, had a, had a cup of wine, was pizza, we're watching some MOS stuff. And uh, I thought maybe he was like, on the prop department. You know, is he he's one of the account? I don't know. There's a lot of people on a movie that you never see. Yeah, sure. And I'm just sitting there. I said, hey, man, how you doing? He said, oh, pretty good, pretty good, great. Yeah. <laughs> is this your first time at Daily? He said, yeah, yeah, it sure is. He's there. Uh, what, do you, what do you do here uh, on the movie? He said, oh, I don't work on the movie. I said, well, who are you? He said, oh, I'm the FedEx man. <laughs> he was the FedEx guy. You know, FedEx. His car is, like, parked in the middle of the street right out. And Jonathan said, hey, man, how you doing? Pretty good. You had a rough day? I'm almost done now. You want to watch the dailies? What are dailies? It's kind of like watching a movie that doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, sure, yeah. I put the thing down. And he was watching it like this. I was watching, you know, hey, it's the guy says to me, is that Denzel Washington? Yeah, yeah, it is, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. Is he in the movie, too? Yeah, he is. Is he at Daly's? No, Denzel's, no, he didn't come to there. Oh, man, I'd love to meet Denzel Washington. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, I'm telling a slight story, but it's not far off the mark. Well, here you, here you, here you are uh, with him there's, there's in 1994, Katie. right sweet, there. Sweet, sweet guy. And the, uh, another great thing about him, uh, he was uh, my, the first time I took my wife out on a bona fide date. Mm -hmm. As in, uh, would you, would you, are you doing anything tomorrow night? Would you like to go out to maybe have dinner uh, and, uh, and maybe a movie with me? Um, she said, sure, what, uh, what would you like to see? Well, I don't know, why don't we check out what's, uh, what's playing and maybe we can find something. To... She says, you know, how about Stop Making Sense? Well, I think Stop Making Sense would be a delightful movie to go to. So nervously, I took my wife out and our first date night USA was Stop Making Sense at the La Brea Theater on La Brea in Los It was the Talking and Heads. that is Talking, Talking Heads. Heads concert movie. Yeah, by one of the John... greatest concert movies ever made. Yeah. That and The Last Waltz, probably the two greatest concert that, movies. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan oh. Demby, Martin Scorsese, yeah, The Last exactly. Waltz, so great filmmaker. Um, well, we've got to go in just a, a minute here, because you've, you've given enough to America at this point, but we want to give something back to you. Um, every day, uh, one of the, uh, the, the, the young uh, people who works here, one of the assistant one producers... One of the millennials? One of the millennials. <laughs> they love calling... One of they the call each out other millennials. of control young people mm -hmm. that work upstairs in your office. That's exactly right. She puts up uh, the hunk of the day, and she recently oh, uh, put up... Uh, she, she recently oh, put please. up this hunk of the day. Today's hunk is Tom Hunks. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Oh, wait a there minute. Is. Hold on. Okay. Okay, there it is. All right. Okay, it goes on to say, enough said, right? Nope, I've got more to say. Every time Tom says, don't cry, shop girl, guess what? I do. Got oh, me again, Tom. Man. Thanks for being a hunk. And uh, I know you've got Oscars. I know you've got Emmys. I know you've got Grammys. Got any Grammys? No. But okay, but that, now I, you have I got hunk a, of the I day. Got a, oh, man. I'll... Kennedy Center Honor and hunk of the day. Anything? Do you have a... Acceptance speech or anything like that? Or... Well, you want to you go out over my... We'll go out over the acceptance uh, let, let me just get three words in it and play me off, and I'll pretend I'm outraged. Okay, before you do that, the circle is in theaters now. Tom Hanks, take it away. I owe 
this fantastic moment to uh, my first to, to my to my first to my first travel teacher who taught me everything I know to my beautiful wife Rita to my four kids.